Okay. Good evening. Welcome. Today is Monday, June 1st, 2020. This is a special meeting of the Board of Education. If we could start, please, with the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge of allegiance, pledge of allegiance. to the flag to the United States of America, America. and to the republic, republic which it stands, which stands. one nation, one nation. Under, God, under God, indivisible, indivisible. liberty, and justice. And justice for all. Thank you. Okay, this is a special meeting of the board, as we had discussed uh, last week, that we would meet uh, once the teachers union had ratified the um, MOA for the teachers contract. So we're here tonight to do that. And we'll start with business of the board. Number one, approve a MOA. Whereas negotiations have been ongoing between the bargaining team for the Tuckahoe Union Free School District and the bargaining team for Tuckahoe Teachers Association for a successor to the 2016-2018 agreement between the parties. And whereas those negotiations have resulted in the tentative agreement contained in a memorandum of agreement dated March 26, 2020, which has been ratified by the membership of the unit. And whereas the Board of Education of the Tuckahoe Union Free School District has reviewed the terms of the memorandum of agreement and finds that a settlement consistent with the terms contained therein is in the best interest of the district. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the Board of Education of the Tuckahoe Union Free School District hereby approves and ratifies the terms of the aforesaid memorandum of agreement and hereby authorizes the superintendent of schools and the board president to execute a collective bargaining agreement consistent with the terms thereof. Your motion. Pete, second. Therese, discussion. Ms. Goodman, did you want to say anything? Yes, I would. Thank you very much. First of all, um, I am very proud of the teachers of our district. I think if the pandemic taught us anything, it's how important a teacher in every classroom, an excellent teacher in every classroom means to all our students. Um, in my short time in Tuckahoe, what I've seen in our teachers is that they are not only caring and supportive, they also have wonderful skills to meet the needs of all our students. And we're just gonna go further with that. So congratulations um, to the teachers for ratifying the agreement. And I'm hoping for a very long time working with all of you. Excellent work and we appreciate what you've done. Thank you, agreed. And we also as a board are very happy this evening to put this forward. Um, it has been a, um, you know, an, an unknown uh, future fiscally, but we do believe that the agreement um, protects the district. At the same time, um, it uh, commends the teachers and rewards them for their work and uh, dedication to our students. So I believe that it's a fair agreement and happy to do this this evening. Anybody else? All in favor? Number two. Adopt a revised calendar. Resolve that the Board of Education of the Tuckahoe Union Free School District hereby adopts a revised 2019-2020 school calendar dated June 1, 2020, which is subject to further revision as may be required due to any directives and or executive orders issued by the governor and or the state education department. Is there a motion? Cynthia, second. Therese, discussion? Ms. Goodman? Yes, I wanted to talk a little bit about the calendar again, as I did at our last meeting. So we really, I, Dr. Linehan, myself, and the team over at the high school with the parents and the students have gone through all kinds of renditions for the 12th grade graduation. We understand that this is very painful for this class. It was their last time in Takahoe and they love the district and we care Everybody cares so greatly for this class. It's a wonderful class. So what we came up with was for the 15th is the last day of school, but the 15th, 16th, and 17th is the graduation for our students. We are doing an in-person graduation, one of the few high schools in the county that I know of. Who is, most high schools are doing drive-bys, uh, drive-ins, drive-bys, or virtual. We've decided that every student deserves to have the traditional high school graduation that Tuckahoe gives, which is 
from all I've heard, um, really outstanding. So students will get to walk under the flowers. They'll have the rose ceremony with their parents. Uh, their parents will walk with them, which is different. Um, when they come up the stairs of the high school, they will hear um, something about them and they will be bestowed the diploma by myself and by uh, Dr. Linehan. We will have a videographer that will be live, we'll have two, we'll have live streaming so that anybody who wants to watch is 15 hours, three days of that, they can watch it live or they know that their friends or family are graduating. Plus we will also have a videographer who will take that and make it into a, a watchable keepsake for our students. We will also have a photographer there to take pictures of the student and their family on that day, which is different than a usual graduation where it's just a picture of the student. Um, additionally, we are looking at right now, you know, it's always a changing landscape of having, allowing uh, not up to nine people, because we've heard that some families have not been able to make a you know, choice between grandparents or they may have more students in the family than fits into a regular car. So up to two cars. Um, as you know, the governor has issued um, 10 people uh, in the gathering. We're asking that people bring their circle of people together and that um, they take all the precautions still. We're considered essential workers, so we will be socially distancing and not in that 10. So this is a very creative idea that we have come up with. Additionally, now that we've heard what happened in New Jersey, and we know that our students and many people in New York would like to have a real graduate, a real gathering of more than 10 people plus, you know, the administration with their students. If we are able to in July, if it's issued that we can have a graduation or a, another com another graduation, let's say, uh, or some kind of a gathering where everybody can uh, recognize our wonderful class, we will do that in July too. So we don't want anybody to feel that we're rushing into just doing this to get it done. We feel our students need closure, um, that this is, they've come through so many years of Tuckahoe and they're a hardworking, caring class and their parents love them and should celebrate this with them at the end of the school year, which is June 15th. We're spreading it over three days so that we can socially distance and do this appropriately. But again, if, we have so, if we're able to in July, we will do that too. So we're watching carefully what the governor says. As you know, it's a changing landscape day by day. Um, our understanding of the pandemic and what our state officials say that we can do and our, and our local officials. I'd also like to thank, again, the Eastchester Police uh, Department. They've been wonderful. Um, Mr. Calavita has been very supportive and really working this out with us. Not everybody has a town or a police force that can work this out. And they've done that for all our graduations. We're moving up. So I would also like to thank them. And we do have great senior class advisors who have helped us throughout the way. There's been many celebrations for this class and for all our students, and we will continue to do that. Thank you. Okay. And I want to also thank the board for your support. I know it's been a changing landscape for you too. And I appreciate thank that. You. I just want to add that I, I uh, appreciate all that's being done. I'm sure that the uh, seniors, the students, and their families are appreciative to hear that we are still open to a July date if we can make that happen. I think it's really something that is so special about our school. Uh, graduation really is historically such a beautiful ceremony that we put on, very unique ceremony. And I think it just really says something about our students and the way they um, bond their friendships with each other, the smallness of our district. They really personally all do know each other and are close. And the way you see, I've seen it with my own kids and year after year, I see it with the student class, the senior class when they graduate, how that class really comes together that senior year. And uh, graduation really is a very meaningful ceremony. So um, we appreciate that we can do this for them and they will have something very memorable with their families on the 15th and 16th and 17th of June. And the open possibility of having something in July is very appreciative. So we, we thank you for that as well. Anybody else? I'll, I'll just say that, you know, I, I think it's, it's the right plan and I'm, you know, very happy that you've um, come up with this. I think it's really intimate and I think it's really shows how much we, we value it. And I do think it makes sense to do something right away. You know, I think sometimes people 
also forget that, look, we're, we're, we're all happy with the way this is going. I think, you know, things are starting to open back up again. But at any point, things could relapse and go the other way. And if we didn't do something, we could, we could risk having nothing at all. So I, I think it's really smart to do something like you're doing. And then I think it's also commendable that you're also being flexible to do something in July if that's possible. So it's really the best of both worlds. And, and I think it's great. I just want to also say that, you know, we're not going to participate in this event on the 15th and the 16th and the 17th the board. And um, typically we are there at the graduations. Um, I think we all enjoy them. I think they're, they're fantastic. But um, anybody who's watching this should know that, you know, our absence is not because we don't, we don't care or we don't, we don't want to be there. We just don't want to take up a slot. Um, we want to make sure that the, the families are able to bring as many people as they want. I think from the administration standpoint, we're the least important, obviously, uh, the superintendent and, and the um, principal is most important. So we, we are not going to be there just because we don't want to take up a slot that could be used by a family member. But please don't uh, you know, interpret that as being that we don't care. We don't want to be there. Um, and certainly if there's something in July, I'm sure we'll all be there for that. So I'm sure it's going to be great, and I'm sure everybody's going to love it. So thank you. Thank you, Pete. Okay. All in favor? Okay. Uh, Michelle, I just wanted to say one more thing, because I think Pete really hit the nail on the head. Um, we really want to make sure that we have something. We have seen things, again, I want to say change so quickly, and that's the reason why we're doing it. Some people were wondering why we don't just wait till July. We risk a lot by reading to July. So I just want yeah. to Right. And I did also just want to publicly say that the calendar that's being adopted this evening, the change is the addition of the graduation dates. That school, the last day of classes still will be um, June 15th, correct? So we just don't want anyone to think that there's been a change in the school year that the calendar is being changed this evening to accommodate for the graduation ceremony. All in favor? Thank you. Okay. And we are going to now adjourn the meeting. Motion to adjourn the meeting. Peter, second. Laura, discussion. All in favor? Okay. Uh, we will see you again next week on June 10th. Um, between now and June 10th, we do ask that everyone um, exercise their right to vote. The ballots have been mailed and have been received and as a reminder are due back. Uh, must be received to the district clerk by Monday. Um, I'm sorry, is it Monday? No. Tuesday. Tuesday. Tuesday, yep. June 9th at 5 p.m. Tuesday, mm -hmm. June 9th at 5 p.m. I just want to say one thing too. Um, tomorrow I will send out some information about voting, answering some questions. We are moving the uh, the mail, the lock box, uh, mailbox, the drop box outside that's outside coddle to inside coddle. We feel that it will be better protective but from all the elements. Uh, so uh, we'll give you the times when coddle will be open. Um, we have security there so that you could drop off your vote if you're not mailing it in to inside the building. Okay, great. Okay. Make sure you sign your envelopes. Sign your envelope. I have Don't sign your envelope, your vote doesn't count. Make sure you sign. Thank you, Pete. Okay, all in favor? I think we already did it, but we'll do it again. Thank you, and we will see you on June 10th. Thank you. Thank you. Be well. Bye-bye.